I say everyone, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to another episode of Destiny's Tarot. Thank you all for the love and support that you do show the channel. Guys, if you want a personal reading, go ahead and book with me. Check the description box for my email if you want to leave, you know, a tip as well or ask any questions. My information is in the description box. All right, guys. I hope this reading is reaching you guys. Good energy, good vibes, good health. Today's reading is going to be for Scorpios, all right? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Placements, and North Node. Mm -hmm. Guys, I hope you're studying your birth charts. All right, so first we're going to pull from my deck. Messages, spirit guides, ancestors, God. All right, so the first couple of cards out that we have is tall, not in love. All right, Scorpio, I don't know if you're tall. But someone here is tall and they're not in love, okay? So messages. So we have failure, African American, and we have please and beg. Okay, so someone here could have failed at something, maybe trying to cause hurt to someone else. This could be you or the person that you're thinking about, Scorpio. And it didn't work out in this person's favor here. Like I said, this person could be tall, African-American. This individual could be begging and pleading right now. You or you're begging and pleading with someone else. As I cut the deck, the first card I saw was justice in the reverse. So whatever you or if this is you... Or this is somebody else. Whatever failure or whatever attempt it was to cause someone hurt here. This person that they try, that you or someone else tried to cause hurt could have short hair. But whatever was done, it failed. And it failed because it was an injustice to cause any harm to this person. It's the overall energy for Scorpio's reading. Spirit guides, ancestors. Give us one card, please. Angels. Yeah. One card. Scorpios. Some more lights of any space makes no flow. Give me one card, please, Spirit. Seven of Cups in reverse. So there's clarity about what you were doing or this other person here, Scorpio. Five of Wands, how they fit, take it, resonate, leave what does not on the table. But there's definitely clarity. Um, there's no more confusion. Something definitely backfired. The Nine of Swords came out with the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like someone definitely tried to have someone else hurt or shooken up or broken losing sleep about something and the tables turn and that's what this individual is now going through it has something to do with the man because we have the king of cups here in the reverse okay so the person that you're dating or the person that you know or this is you could have been given to somebody else you know give me two cards for this energy one more card please Two cards, please. 
All right, so what it's looking like is someone is coming in or came in with an offer. Okay, someone does not want to take any responsibility for what happened. Okay, so it looks like this this person that basically failed at trying to cause someone hurt here is wanting to come in with an offer because there's clarity about what was done and who did it and how they did it as well. Uh, this person is seen as the empress in the reverse. Someone could have lied about a pregnancy or basically lied or it's basically just really insecure. I feel like somebody here did lie as well too, guys. And they don't want to take any responsibility for what was done. Scorpio, this could be your energy or the person that you're dealing with. Um, page of Cups, this is an offer, okay? Someone thinks they could come in with this offer. Now, this Page of Cups offer is very childish and it's very small. This person does not have much that they want to come in with here. Um, due to the fact that, you know, that someone here is just extremely childish. But I, I do feel like there's a lack of wanting to take any responsibility. This person just wants to come in and basically, yeah, some spell work or some black magic backfired or it didn't work. Or it just bounced off of you guys or bounced off someone else. Someone has clarity about this. I just feel like someone here is extremely childish, just very childish. Can I find a page of cups upright for Scorpio's energy? Yeah, temperance. Someone here is extremely jealous. Because whatever plan they had here, Scorpio, or this is you, it didn't work, okay? This page of cups, whatever offer that, that this person is trying to bring you, it's only because something that they tried didn't work, okay? It was a failing plan with temperance in the reverse. This person that's bringing in this offer is very unbalanced as well, too. Very unbalanced and very childish. Somebody here can see that you guys are at the five of wands in reverse. There's no conflict, I feel like you guys won't even walk around with conflict or anything else either like that. I also feel like this person tried to do some mental damage by stressing you out here. And they were unsuccessful with the six of wands in reverse. Why is the lover's hand in reverse? What's Scorpio's energy? That's the truth, okay? So this childish individual here, they don't want to take any responsibility for what happened. You know, they just think they can come in and bring an offer, okay, to, to whatever you have, okay, to make to make everything all better here. There's no change. There's no growth with this person. The Empress in the reverse. How is this for? Where's the Empress in the reverse? Four of Cups in the reverse. I feel like someone here is being ignored. So this Empress in the reverse, this is not you guys' energy. Like I said, um, I could be reading for two two different things here. You know, it could be two stories. It could be a, a man and a woman. Depends on who you're dealing with and what you're dealing with. But with this Empress in the reverse here, I feel like this person is being ignored due to some clarity. So this person feels like they can come in, still the same thing. Somebody feels like they can come in, whether you're, whether it's a man or a woman, and give an offer here due to the fact that... Um, something failed and and they were they're willing to plead and beg or they could they could be doing this person could be very tall african-american yeah this person is not in love with you okay this so this is someone that's very insecure okay um and a liar i feel like you could be ignoring this person or you just you're not in it you're not trying to accept any offers from this individual at all okay scorpio clap out of ace of swords okay Ace of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Due to the fact that there's clarity here, I feel like there's uh this masculine. Also, like I said, if this is a masculine, I feel like this masculine is walking away from this Nine of Pentacles energy, this Earth sign here. It could just be someone that doesn't take care of themselves. Don't necessarily have to be an Earth sign, but someone here doesn't really take good care of themselves. Um, and whatever they did. As far as not trying to take any responsibility for what they did as well, too. Or as far as coming in, trying to throw rocks and hide their hand. Because the lovers in the reverse can mean that as well. They're they're being walked away from with the three of wands. This is movement forward here. Someone here is optimistic and they're very much 
um, confident in the decision that they made to walk away from this Nine of Pentacles energy. This is justice for this person as well, too. Four of Pentacles, okay. Secrets are coming out about a home situation and some money as well, too, guys. Um, secrets could be coming out where someone lives as well. Be careful of someone not changing, Scorpio. This is your card, okay? This is Scorpio's energy, and it came out in the reverse, death, okay? So I feel like when it comes to a home situation, when it comes to money, when it comes to... Um, an area that you live, I feel like you're not changing. This could be, you know, you guys saying that you're not going to move. You're not going to give someone your money. Um, you're not going to release something. I feel like you're holding on tight to someone as well, too. And that's not changing. Why is the death card here in the reverse? Maybe somebody wanted you to, to change. Holding on to something, someone, uh, money, and home. The death card in the reverse. Scorpio's energy. <clears throat> Why is the death card here in the reverse? Yeah, high priestess energy is here as well, too. I feel like you guys know a lot and you're not saying everything that you know here because there's a lot of clarity here. That's the whole in that's the whole energy at this time, Scorpio, is clarity. Why is the death card here in reverse? The Scorpio's energy, guys. Spirit. We have the Emperor. Okay, so <clears throat> Scorpio, either somebody is holding on to you very tightly, or um, you know, you're like I said, you're holding on to somebody else. Give me one more. Why is the emperor here? Two of Pentacles. I feel like this is more like trying to balance something out. Why is the two of pentacles here? Yeah. High priestess energy. Someone could could possibly know that you're trying to juggle. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Yeah, Six of Wands. And I feel like you're unsuccessful with juggling a situation due to the fact that someone knows what's going on. Can I find a high priestess? Yeah. Yeah, so you have to make a decision. So you, I feel like you had to make a decision and you chose to release uh, this Nine of Pentacles energy. This could be like the this side person or this could be someone that um that you was just dibbling and dabbling with, you know, like a, like a mistress or, or something like that, Scorpio. And this person is um very insecure and they, they don't take good care of themselves, you know. Um, they could have lied about being pregnant as well too, or who their child father is. Things are slowing down. I feel like you and this person could be communicating like like maybe a little to no, no communication. This person knows they need to go to calmer waters. Six of uh, wands in reverse, but they want to indulge with you, okay? It's just that I don't think you want to indulge with this person. And then we have the star in reverse. Could be an Aquarius here as well, guys. They're feeling very uninspired at this time. They feel like they can't they can't um, get you to indulge with them, basically. Why is the five of wands here in reverse? Why is the five of wands here in reverse? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse, okay? So instead of things being very chaotic, instead of you being very unbalanced or your person, I feel like it's the opposite. You're, there is no chaos. Um, you're very balanced and you're very determined to move forward, Scorpio, King of Wands energy. Yeah, a cycle has closed out with this um, energy, this other energy here. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse. Two of Swords. I feel like you need to make a decision. So I feel like you don't want this person, Scorpio. Um, I feel like this person tries to remind you a lot about the past. Or this person, um, maybe you have like history with this person. You knew them for a long time with the Six of Cups here upright. But I feel like um, I feel like you need to make a decision here. Like whether or not you're going to continue to deal with this, this Empress in the Reverse. This Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, you know, this person that is, this person could be pleading and begging, you know, but at the same time, you have to make a decision. Two of Swords upright. And it's gonna, it's a tough decision to have to leave somebody in the past, but it's like you have to make this decision. Ace of Cups, someone here could um be pregnant, or you need to make a decision on who you're going to give this Ace of Cups to, basically. Two of Swords, four of Cups, two of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone is bringing up the past a lot here with the Six of Cups energy. They could be trying to um, 
bring up the past in order to get you to be confused or that's the that's the way of get getting you to stay we have history all that type of shit there but i feel like you're married to someone else i feel like someone also is stalking and watching you at this time because they you haven't made a decision yet so they could be very much stalking and watching you seeing if you're going to make this decision who um i feel like you're you're the king of cups upright to someone else can I find this King of Cups? Why is this King of Cups up right here? Spirit. Yeah, I feel like um someone wants you to be the King of Swords in reverse. They want you to lose your discipline, your morals, your respect for this other person. But the cherry is here. That's not gonna happen, or it's not happening here. Um, I feel like this, I feel like there's victory and success for you and this other person at this time. Yeah. Why is this page of swords here? The Scorpio. Upright. Yeah, the sun. Someone is stalking and watching and they realize that you're happy or that um someone is happy. Yeah, they thought that there, there was going to be a breakup of some sort or, or some type of um chaos between you and somebody or you weren't going to reconcile with this person. But they're watching and they realize that you're very happy with this person. Ace of Cups. Someone here could be very heartbroken or very sad. Yeah, because the spell, the spell work didn't work. Okay, with the magician here, the attacks didn't work. The passive aggressiveness is not working. Ace of Wands in reverse. It's a fail. It failed. That's why that failure was there. Yeah, this person thought you were in the energy or right, of being, um, you know, a player. They thought you were in that energy. This individual was very jealous and very envious of the fact that you and somebody else reconcile. You're happy. Okay, you have ultimate happiness with this person. That's the sun card upright. This person is getting a lot of clarity and they're no longer confused. But they're probably still trying to beg and plead here. It's probably still trying to come in and offer you things. Justice. I feel like it's just sex. Yeah, six of pentacles in the reverse. So there's no balancing things out. There's no giving to this person at this time. I feel like everybody involved has clarity. There's no more confusion. Yeah. Some here is also under judgment for the, this these illusions that they caused as well too. This nine of pentacles in the reverse energy. The divine stepped in on the situation. The empress in the reverse energy. That's the same person is what I'm getting. Yeah, for trying to get you to have a one night stand, or if you did have a one night stand with this person, they're they're under judgment for that. Yeah, if you were unloyal and unfaithful to this person, they're under judgment for that. Or if they were just trying to get you in that energy and keep you stuck there, they're under judgment for that with the hangman here. Why is there with a fortune here? Yeah, they tried to cause tower moments, blockages, and delays for. Not only you, but the person that you're dealing with or you could be married to with the Queen of Wands energy. How are you going to try to overtake someone that is the Queen of Wands? You know, because Wands and sex, I mean, Wands and Tarot means sex. Okay, and the person that you're dealing with, Scorpio, or this is you, you are the Queen of Wands. Okay, like, you could be a Sagittarius and somebody was trying to, like, fuck your nigga, basically. <laughs> Yeah, this person is very emotionally unbalanced right now because it didn't work. I feel like they're trying to also think of different ways and what to do next. Because that didn't work. <laughs> it was a fail. Why is the tower here upright? Yeah, six, eight of pentacles in the reverse. It, it didn't work. Or it's not going to work. And that's the truth. Seven of swords right behind it. Now this person could be in the energy of slandering you you and your person. Or slandering your person here. The uh, queen of swords in reverse. This person is lying. Whatever they're saying about this queen of wands upright energy, they're lying. They're spreading lies. And they're just gossiping and trying to slander this person because their plan failed. Okay? And then on top of that, they're trying to beg and plead. Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they're they're also slandering because they they're they're hoping that it gets you to basically release this person and release how you feel about them and give in to trying to um and give in to to some spell work here. Basically, this person is very restless because you're still walking away. 
So it's not working. They also want you to be this Knight of Cups in reverse to this person, a heartbreaker and a manipulator. But like I said, it's not working. You're still walking away. This person is doing this for negative connotations. Like they could be trying to come in and be very passive aggressive towards you, very aggressive here, very vicious with this um with this seven of pentacles in the reverse. Due to the fact that you're still moving forward, this person is like it's like they're in disbelief that you're still walking away from them because they came in and gave you all type of offers and um was very flirtatious with you and they did all type of things and everything here. They could they could have even begged and pleaded with you and you still got clarity about a situation. This person probably is not aware that you have clarity about something here, Scorpio. But yeah, maybe you have clarity about the fact that this person did this just to basically say, you know, I got to fuck him or I got to get him to, to give in. It wasn't genuine. This person is not in love with you. They're just messy. The hangman upright. Yeah, they're just messy. Yeah, the page of swords. They're, this person is, is very like, this could be a Virgo here. There's a lot of earth sign here, Scorpio. But yeah, I feel like this person is trying to um, argue with you as well, too, because they want to stress you out. Yeah, they're refusing to look at things any differently. They're just they're just really trying to stress you out here. Clarify this ten of wands in reverse. <clears throat> yeah, this is a whore, three of cups in the reverse. I feel like you're putting a stop to this. You're not dealing with this person. Three of cups in the reverse. Why is this here? Scorpio, your Ace of Pentacles. They want you to give them an offer. That's what they. That's what this person is is trying to get you to do. Give them an offer. Okay, this person, you and this individual could be in a lot of communication right now, Scorpio. They're trying, or they're in communication um, with someone else. But this person is definitely trying to um, break up a happy home here. This is a happy a, 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 a home worker. I feel like they're feeling very defeated at this time and a regret. I feel like they're losing a lot of sleep. Yeah, I thought I feel like they thought they could come in and tame you or control you in a way, Scorpio. Why is the star here in reverse? Yeah, the hierophant in the reverse. They want to put you in your ego. Because whatever plan they had, it didn't work. So now they want you to be in your ego. They want to stroke your ego here with the hierophant in the reverse. This could definitely be a Virgo or a Capricorn. Okay. With this um Queen of Pentacles here. This person could be older. Queen of Pentacles upright. Yeah, a cycle has closed out with whoever this is. Okay? Whether they have money or not, or something could have just been about some money. Yeah, they can't cause any blockages or, or delays. Two of Wands is in the reverse. They're being blocked off here. They're being blocked off. Clarify this five of swords upright. This person is very jealous. Three of swords. Three of swords. This is the third party. This is someone that is very jealous, very envious, and they're heartbroken. But it's not like they're heartbroken because you know you didn't choose them. But it's not like this person is not fucking with other people. They can't fuck with other people. They're just mad because you know you didn't choose them, and and you're not being um, a womanizer and a bully to someone else. You're not being the king of pentacles in reverse to someone else. You're not. Um, you're not not being a deadbeat. You know, you're not, you're still taking care of your children. You're, you're still, you know, and it, it's just like this person is just envious. And I feel like you got clarity about this person's ways. They could have been cloaking their energy as well. Why is this eight of cups here upright? Why is the eight of cups here upright? And I feel like you found out. Yeah, this person is so mad because you walked away from them. They're emotionally unbalanced. Like I said, they're the queen of cups in reverse with the four of wands upright. This is an omen. It can't be touched. Someone, your home is protected, your relationship is protected, your marriage is protected. You're going to have a happy home. You're going to have a happy life. And it's nothing that this karmic can do about it. This third party. Okay? They, they're, they're now in despair. They're now stressed out. They're now losing sleep. Okay? They try to project this onto you and your person here. Or this is you. Apply the rose how they fit, guys. And now this person is being blocked off. This could have definitely been a situation where, you know, you were, you had a mistress or you had a, you had somebody that just is very envious and jealous and, um, of the type of person that your person is or the type of person that you are, the type of relationship that you have, you know, what's the outcome of this situation for Scorpio? What is the outcome here? Strength. 
Okay, Scorpio, you're going to be strong in this situation or you're, you're being called to be strong in this situation. Or somebody could be realizing just how strong your person is or how strong you are. Page of Pentacles, I feel like somebody could be losing the job or their finances is being very affected right now. What's the um, outcome? Ten of Swords, somebody just tried to put someone under a spell here as well or somebody tried to put a bunch of knives in someone back. Yeah, this was some type of collaboration. Three of Pentacles here. What is the outcome? Yeah, someone is very strong and someone is very guarded. Okay, Nine of Wands, upright energy. What's the outcome? I feel like this karmic here tried to activate someone's uh, insecurities in hopes that, that, that that'll get them to indulge with them. Cheats here. Also, this karmic is very obsessed. This third party. They're, they're very obsessed. Yeah, you're going to get this Ten of Cups, this happy family. You could have two children here. Yeah, your, your, your family life is protected. It's protected. Let's get some messages from my deck spirit. The Scorpios. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Placements, North Node. Someone here could have a dimple. We have return back to sender 777. I feel like um, some spell work, some black magic, got de you definitely got returned back to sender. You definitely did. Some of you could have hazel blue, blue eyes. Some of you could be a prostitute or a sex worker. They could be hiding the fact that they have sleep around for money. We have hurt. We have no. There's some messages here, spirit guides. Or someone could have been spreading lies that someone was a prostitute sex worker here. There's some messages, spirit, angels, ancestors. We have walk wet pussy. We have love, and we have baby girl, all right? And at the bottom of the deck, we have dry. Let's get some hidden truth oracle messages before we close out this reading. What's the messages? So I feel like this karmic is saying they want to feel that way again. They want sex here. Somebody just wants sex. Somebody could just be digmatized or, you know, they're, um, they like the way you fuck them. But there's no love here with this third party. And I feel like you're starting to realize that. They feel like the timing wasn't right for you guys, Scorpio. You speak to me through music. So I feel like you and this person that you're married to or whoever you're moving towards, I feel like you speak to them through music. I feel like you want this person to understand that it's time for you to heal now. Um, I feel like you wish you had treated someone else better. Like, I feel like you're starting to realize that you, you basically attacked someone or treated someone like shit and they didn't deserve that. What's the message here? What's that feel? This karmic feels like they were a distraction from your pain. I feel like this person is delusional. You were the best thing in my life. Yeah, I feel like you're starting to realize that someone else really mean, meant and means a lot to you. It was my fault that I blamed you. Yeah. I feel like you're starting to see the error of your ways, Scorpio. And that's growth. There's nothing wrong with that. The messages. I feel like you're in love with someone. You realize that this person loves you, and I feel like this person loves you back. You know, we have, at the bottom of the deck, we have, I want you in the reverse. This karmic does not want you. This third party don't want you. They don't want necessarily want you. They just want you because you're not choosing them. You're, 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 this person could be a narcissist. Like, they can't take no. They don't, they don't want to hear no, you know? So this could be this person's initials, your initials. Or oh, the person that you're dealing with. First, middle, and or last. We have F. 
U. And we have H. Also with that F U, somebody definitely wants to fuck you. They definitely wants to want to fuck you. You definitely want to fuck someone else. This is this no, it's nothing. There's no love or nothing. It's about sex. This could definitely be an X. Okay, we have D, Z, W. And that's just spirit power princesses. We got Y, we got T. S. This could be your birthday, a significant date, this third party's birthday, your person's birthday. Okay, so we have three, 18, 17. It's the messages. 26. Jesus. It's something about 26. 25, 44, 32, 1, 11, 10. So, something significant about October. Let's pull from the sex positive tarot. If you're not interested, guys, I do understand. Um, you can go ahead and log off now. Just make sure to purge your energy. Take good care of yourselves, guys. And thank you so much. Please remember to like the video. Comment down below and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Only if you love the energy and the vibes over here. As I cut the deck, we have porn. So, um, Scorpio, you and this person or this person definitely had sex. Um, it could have been a threesome. Assertivity as well is here. So, yeah, could have been with a fire sign. This is, you know, the sex part of the deck. Someone here could want you to be gay or want somebody else to be gay. Or a gay person maybe is attracted to you. Or you definitely have sex with someone that is gay or bisexual. What's the messages? We have risk of awareness. So, someone is afraid of this information coming out. They want that someone wants to keep someone blinded to what actually went down here. Risk of awareness, can I say that? Yeah, someone could have gave someone head here with mouth and non monogamy. There could have definitely been a threesome. Okay, clarify mouth. We have workshop. So someone could have definitely got paid for giving someone head or getting head. Why is non monogamy here? Sex education, yep. So there was some chit chat and there was some talking about, you know, sex education. Um, there was some talking about sex. This was like something that was planned. Secrets are coming out about this here. This third, this other person could have been a man that was involved. Desire. That's why this desire is here. Someone was that like sexting or having home sex with someone here. Clarify sex education for Scorpio's energy, please, spirit guides, ancestors. Yeah, we have self-determination. So I feel like with this self-determination here, guys, I feel like someone here definitely really is really trying to keep something a secret. Clarify desire. Someone could have swallowed a condom as well, too, in order to keep something a secret. Maybe they were just about to get caught up. Clarify desire. Or maybe they, they swallowed a condom to show loyalty. Okay. Um, this person... Uh, this other energy that's involved or somebody could just put someone in a third party situation okay where they were having sex with this other energy could be someone that's very much not loose someone that is you know in the energy of getting to know someone not trying to just have threesomes and have sex here and this could be coming out that this this person is really like this why is workshop here can i workshop please can i workshop up right yeah, safer sex. So if you did pay someone or if someone here is a stripper or a prostitute, too, you definitely need to practice safer sex with this person because this energy is someone that's very loose. They're very wild here, okay? Um, demisexuality. Yeah, negotiation. I feel like you you I feel like somebody wants you to negotiate with the other energy here that you have um tainted sex with. 
they want you to negotiate with this person on trying to get get, get this person on board with, with this threesome. Basically, get this person to be okay with you sleeping with this other energy or you two sleeping together. Self-determination. Okay. That's what's here. Clarify self-determination. Yeah. I feel like you had to swallow. Someone swallowed a condom and made, uh, to, like I said, to... Basically, they were about to get caught or maybe they didn't realize that it was in their pocket or something like that. And they just swallowed it. Clear for activism. Like, I feel like someone does not want someone to know that they're having sex with someone else. We have getting tested. Yeah. Someone could also fi be finding out that they're sick or someone else is sick. Safe for sex. Or someone um, probably is like, damn, how did this person know that I'm sick or that I have something yeah, transgender. Someone here could be transgender or they were dealing with someone that's transgender. Like I said, this other energy could be with a man. Yeah, we have um, sex worker here. This this person could be transgender and it can be a sex worker. But you need to practice safer sex with this person. Okay, because feathism. Yeah, this person is definitely obsessed with you sex with, sexually. They could be a Leo. Um, they could be an exhibitionism. Or they could be in that type of um, sex. If I getting tested in the reverse, why is that here? Yeah, asking and begging and pleading. So if this person is asking you guys for sex or begging you or, or this is you, someone here is sick. They could be trying to do this just to get you sick. Yeah, triggers. Or they trying to get pregnant by you. That's why. Clarify tantrum. Yeah, arousal. I feel like you're more aroused by this other energy because just because of the simple fact that they're not so loose. I feel like you're desiring this person. Okay, I feel like you you guys have sex and you have tantric sex. It's aftercare. I feel like you cuddle and you love each other and you have BDSM style sex with this other energy um, that you're trying to hide. You don't want nobody to know about this other person here, um, Scorpio, or this is you. So what's the um, outcome of this situation? Yeah, we have expanded senses. So yeah, someone wants to turn you on, but you're aroused and turned on by somebody else, Scorpio. Okay, let me one more. Yeah, we have assertivity. Here it is again. This other person could be a fire sign. I feel like you're more turned on to that, to a fire sign, or you want to deal with the fire sign, not this other energy. And I feel like you need to be honest about your sexuality or be honest with this other person and let them know exactly how you feel here, okay? So I have one card from the time frame Oracle, Scorpio, and then that's the reading. A few weeks. All right, so those were your messages. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe only if you love the energy and the vibes over here. Make sure you guys like the video. Comment down below. If you're interested in the personal, I'm available. And also, guys, you guys can tip me, okay? My just my cash app is in the description box. Um, it is money sign, triple divinity, 555. All right, guys, so be sure to also get my email and ask any questions if you need to know any questions if you need clarity and just tip me i don't really charge my questions just leave a nice tip um thank you all for the love and support once again and take good care of yourselves purge your energy and take your spiritual baths and take great care of yourselves guys all right so this is destiny 777 tarot until next